If you want to know the three secrets to manifesting your desires that most of the experts don't tell you about, then you must connect with the great energy source, transcend the ego, and understand that you are already connected to everything you desire. I will explain each of these concepts in this article, and show you how you can utilize them to create success in any area of your life. 1. Importance of connecting to the source. Connection with the source, and not only mental focus, is the first essential point to remember in manifesting your desires. A good way to start, is to begin to have an onward, inward, conversation with the source, depending on your spiritual tradition, or for anyone who is wary of religiosity, an inward conversation with your creator. Something created the world, including you. All the spiritual traditions have emphasized that this is a loving principle and even if only the abstract principle of love is something that you can connect to, do so. You will find that this inner dialogue with you and your maker, will be a revelation and help to get you out of the ego mode which is limiting in every way. It is similar to the way sometimes a drop of a different substance, e.g. a drop of medicine, in water, will at first, form its own separate little bubble, until you break it and it diffuses with the surrounding water. This is like the limited ego emerging into the infinite ocean of ideas, this brings me to the next point of and how important it is to transcend the ego. 2. Necessity to transcend the ego in manifesting your desires. You must transcend the ego which traps you into a wanting or lack vibration. You can, of course, manifest with the ego, but it is a forced, unnatural process which is exhausting and the results will be much more limited than if you are connecting to the great infinite source. The ego, also accentuates negativity, e.g. negative self-talk, because it is very much, self-absorbed. You can still create the vibration of having e.g. abundance without the, wanting. Abundance of course, is not only limited to material things, but also to a wealth of happy relationships, and a wealth of goodwill to the whole of creation. This will include random acts of loving-kindness which do not spring from any sense of, expecting, in return. It is purely the extending, or externalization of a wealth of love inside. At first you may have to mechanically practice this, but the more you do it, the more spontaneous this becomes. 3. A solid conviction that the creative source is already connected to everything. Being connected with the creative energy means that you are connected with all that is and, in manifesting your desires you must have a solid conviction of this. This, all that is, includes everything, so here is where you should be careful in choosing, or rather, attracting. You wish to only connect with the good things or only put in your cake that which you want. When you make a cake you can choose the ingredients. Would you want to add pebbles, or dirt to a cake, or rancid butter? Of course not, you want to put in things that you choose and ingredients you know to be good for the final, manifestation, of your cake, such as chocolate or currants, or sultanas. Manifesting your desires, really is the same. Connecting with your source will open your consciousness to infinite possibilities. Transcending the ego, will help you eliminate all the negative self-talk, and understanding that you are never separated from the good that you desire, and deserve, reveal the three main secrets that the experts normally do not tell you about, when they are focused solely on material manifestation. Manifesting your desires this way, puts you on a much higher level of inspiration, and if you follow these guidelines, you can achieve success in any area of your life. That's all for today's video I hope you found it useful, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content.